I'm, I'm very much working in the ecology field, but yesterday I went to a presentation by Tom Robinson, I believe his name was, and I used to work in integrated pest management. So that was just this lovely back to moment of the sort of work that I used to do. And he's just doing such innovative farming and just lovely hearing him talk about the generational um, influence on the farm and that succession planning and you don't hear many stories like that so even though for me it's, it's very much about the ecology that was just a real a, a really great um, presentation to be part of so that was true and VJ always love to hear VJ speak and inspire us so those are my two sort of aha moments so uh, as far as the conference goes all of the keynote speakers have been absolutely fantastic I'm really interested in the circular economy that they talked about from um, something that Conic has done very well for a very long time. Uh, so from ethical sourcing of the components to build the machines right the way through to the disposal of the machine at the end of life, whether most of that is recycled and put back into other Conic and Minolta machines or whether it's repurposed and taken into recycled components. Yeah, it's been brilliant, really good. Uh, so I guess my take home message is that Lang is a network Networks have a lot of power. They don't have to be big to create change. And so if you focus on your network, about working in your network and the flows of information and connecting with people in your network, you can create a lot of change. Ah, uh, yes, very much Keith. Keith Bradby. Ah. He, in 1989, was my first talk and um, lecturer on seed collection. Oh, really? Oh, there you go. So I was ah. able to go up to him and say, 30 years ago, you look very different, I look very different, it's in WA. Yeah. I said, you taught me one day about seed collection. Yeah. He, I thought that it was a great introduction because it was uh, Keith and Jody uh, at the start of the conference who gave that sort of big overview of uh, the strategic sort of nature of where things were going globally mm. and then it was sort of funneling us back into what we're doing now yeah. with Landcare, which was really nice. I thought that was good. And also Keith mentioned persistence. I think the BD Farm Paris Creek key message is that you can do something for the land um, without being a conventional farmer. You can actually have a different approach and make sure the soil and the environment gets what it needed. Definitely Tom Robinson, the Hoyleton farmer, local farmer, who has worked very hard with his father, his grandfather on their family farm at reducing the use of chemicals by 75%, the use of um, superphosphate by 75%. His crop production has increased dramatically. His soil health, he has worms in the, the earth now, all because he has improvised his machinery to have less impact, less traffic on the soil and the land. Um, I think the most inspirational thing about the conference was the um, inclusion of so much diversity about including young people, including um, Aboriginal people, including um, people of different uh, occupations. I think that's all been really very um, enlightening because you're able to sort of relate with a lot more different types of attitudes towards land care and um, and preserving natural resources. Um, I, I really felt that uh, kicking off the um, conference with some really energetic keynote speakers just set the tone. And the other take home, I suppose, would be um, those energetic individuals who saw that kind of red tape might have been, process might have been getting in the way, and just went out in a limb, often to their own personal, personal disadvantage, um, and, and just made it happen. It was just making it happen, it's great. Um, I loved Saskia's talk. I thought the idea of engaging kids with fun was amazing and um, just letting them decide what they want to study, um, especially with citizen science and out in the field, um, I found that really inspiring. Um, and yeah, again, the diversity of topics and uh, really impressed with uh, Mark from the uh, Linnell Trust. I thought his presentation was really good about uh, um, yeah, different ways of, uh, of getting, getting, getting jobs done. Um, so yeah, yeah, that was that was that was quite good. Yeah. yeah, I think just generally just being the people, um, 
getting that, that passion and enthusiasm that's coming off of people. I think it was, yeah, it's just fantastic. That's what I've really enjoyed, probably the most, um, yeah, the conversations and hearing about the projects that are going on. So, yeah. Yep.